Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to take you on a little Sephora trip. So I went about two weeks ago for the pre-Christmas launch at Sephora. It was available to the VIB users. That's probably not the right word. But anyways, so I have to say I was super pumped about going to a pre-Christmas launch. Then I got there and I was like, oh, wah, wah, wah. For my first pre-launch, I was like totally pumped. But um, I realized this year's Christmas things aren't as fun as last year's, which was kind of crazy. So I had my expectations super high. You know, they just didn't have a lot in that pre-launch, but I did pick up some stuff. So what did I get? I got the new Boss Lady Beauty Agenda. I mean, hello, I'm a boss lady for my daytime job. And so in this, you get this wonderful, beautiful pink 2018 Too Faced binder. And it says, don't let today be a waste of makeup. Never. And then it's just got this cute little book with stickers and goals and a little calendar and a notation section. Absolutely love that. I can't wait to use that. It's just absolutely cute. This should fit in most of my purses for the business workday, which is great. In that set came a Better Than Sex mascara and we have a Melted Matte and Sellout. And I don't believe I have this color and I like the size. So very excited about the size of that. Now let's look at the palette. So I was intrigued by these colors. I saw this obviously on YouTube and different, different media platforms. And I really liked the colors. I love the bright colors. I loved the neutrals in it. Uh, this just speaks to me. So does this one. So does this one. I love that those are just amazing. And then of course you've got a highlighter, a blush and a bronzer. So you've got a little palette to go. And I love the fact that it slides into this should you need to take your beautiful stuff to work. So really excited about that. Tarte always tickles me. They last year's outside was like funky psychedelic. So I do like this year's packaging much better. And this opens up like so. And you've got hidden treasures, which if you're tra traveling, you can empty that out and put your hidden treasures in there. I've used these to take with me and put my jewelry or whatever when I'm traveling. It makes it nice. But in here, they give you a lip paint, a sex kit and eyeliner, and some mascara. Super awesome. They also have a beautiful set of colors. I'm really drawn to the blues and greens. It's got some nice neutrals. It's got shimmers and mattes. My eye notices there's probably more shimmers than mattes, and I'm kind of shimmered out, to be honest. I'm looking more for more total matte palettes, but it's Tarte, so I can make an exception. Then we have these beautiful um, bronzers, or you could probably use these as blushes, and some blushes up there, and a highlighter. So let's look and see how this highlighter does. Well, using my finger just isn't working. They always put that some weird stuff on top, so let's see. So that highlighter is super light. In fact, I don't know that you can see it. So that'll be fun to play with. I'll probably play with these later this week, which means by the time you see this video, it'll probably be an additional week later. What else did I get in my little goodie box? They're really good. Not Too Faced. Holy mackerel. Sephora is really good about sending samples and I've got some of the cologne samples from Atelier Cologne. Probably just butchered that name, but you know, work with me. I This is the 2017 exclusive preview. It's got Clementine California, Vanilla, Bergamot Soleil, Orange Sanguine. I just butchered that. It's got a Mandarin and a magnolia scent so totally looking forward to using those and it has the cutest tin ever i don't know what i'll use the tin for but i really think it's totally cute 
And because I'm a mask addict, I got a deep hydration hydrogel mask. I love hydrating my skin. I did get the Ciate Glitter Flip, and that is what's on my lips right now. I have not flipped it to glitter yet. I figured I'd do that at the end of this video. A couple things not from Sephora that somehow ended up in my box is the Wet n Wild Renegade Lash and two of the Master Precise metallic eyeliners. I've got these in two of uh, three other colors and I've really enjoyed using those. But back to Sephora, I picked up the a few more of the uh, Too Faced Peaches and Cream Lippies because I really liked how they felt like the MAC Lippies and so I picked them up in these five colors. And what five colors are those, you ask? Well, here's the answer. I got Drunk Dial, which is kind of this magenta purplish look here. Very pretty. And again, I just love how the peaches are stamped all in the side of that. So adorable. And then I think in pink. So y'all know I have a pink problem, but I'm trying to warm up to it. I'm trying to warm up to it. And Too Faced with this formula is making me warm up to it. This color here is pink with a wink, which is probably more my speed of a pink, not so bright, kind of muted. Then we have another one that's kind of muted that I liked in pink, and this one's Make Me Blush. Oh, do say. So I did like that one. <clears throat> and then going back to the brownish colors, because fall is coming, it says Got Peach. Now oh, that's cute. Come on now. Come on now. You know it's true. So I picked up the rest of those to add to my collection. They didn't have the purples, and the purples were sold out online, so... Uh, Ho-hum. Ho-hum. Oh, and since I'm off on a, on a side tangent, so I did pick up some of the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit, and these are from Wet n Wild. So Wet n Wild came out with, I think, five, or I picked up only five of the different lip colors. I know I'm going down a rabbit trail. I can't help myself. So this color is pink really hard. So funny. So funny. This one is Coral Corruption. I love this freaking orange. It just screams to me. Flame of the game. Hello. Then on the more nudie side, we have Nudie Patootie or Nude Patootie. It's just totally cute. Totally cute. And then we have Nudist Peach. I've noticed this fall there's a lot of nudes or the word nude in the palettes that have been going out and about so that just absolutely cracks me up because we're just on a nude theme. Now as far as Marc Jacobs, I am, I love Marc Jacobs products. I actually have the foundation on today from Marc Jacobs and the primer from Marc Jacobs. I just really like them. I know they're pricey but to me, they're pricey and worth it. Part of adding to my eye pencil collection, I thought these colors were great. I always use a black, and then I really like the teal and the blue for fall. So I think some of those teals and blues will match with both the Tarte and the Too Faced Christmas palettes. I decided that I was going to try the Living Proof uh, Dry Shampoo. Excited about that. Um, woo! So that may have left a little white sheen. <laughs> so you may want to lift up your hair if you're if you're a brunette and spray underneath. That will help you keep that white patch under control, which some of that is just gray. And since we're in the mood for talking about Christmas, my gray hairs are my Christmas tinsel. I'm just early. It's really hard to move to a new area and your hairdresser lives in a completely different state. It's, it's depressing. I just, I've got to find someone to fix this. Sorry, another side tangent. It happens, it happens. Okay, um, one of the other things that I wanted to get was the California. I'm originally born and raised in California and anything that I see California-esque, I like to get my hands on. And I really bought it for the packaging and the name. That packaging is super cute and I like the name. 
Now, I'm not, I'm kind of confused about the color, but I'm gonna try it. Because again, the name is super cute and so is the packaging. And I'm a sucker for great marketing. Like you guys haven't heard me say that one before. Okay, so the last bit is I wasn't sure about the Fenty products. So I watched a few videos and overwhelmingly these two products seem to be the best of the Fenty Beauty. This one is her lip gloss. So I picked up the lip gloss. Looking forward to trying that this week. This smells just like Kool-Aid. This smells like I just opened up Kool-Aid and mixed in the sugar and we're getting ready for summer. That is an amazing smell. I want to lick that wand. The other thing that I overwhelmingly heard was fantastic was this Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Palette uh, Kilowatt. It's a freestyle highlighter duo. So real excited about trying those. I like how one looks like it's kind of for the day. It's a little calmed down. And then the other one has a lot more sparkle and shine. You know, I like to look like a cupcake. So any kind of sparkle and shine makes this girl happy. But that's basically all that I purchased while I was at Sephora, which to be honest with you, I was actually afraid to go into this pre-show because I thought, oh my God, what is this gonna do to my wallet? To be honest, I really got out of the store a lot less than what I had anticipated. I just wasn't overwhelmed with most of the bits that I saw for Christmas. It, it just was underwhelming. That's really hard for me to say because I love Christmas and I really loved Christmas last year in the makeup industry. I will say the only thing that I did not buy that I wish that I would have was Tarte had a, a highlighter that was about that big and it was stunning, stunning. My friend ended up getting it and I need to circle back around with her to see if she's used it and is she in love with it because really that's the only thing that I didn't get my hands on or I didn't come away with that I regretted not purchasing at the time. So I, I may circle back around and you may see that pop up in one of my future videos because if she says it's worth all the sparkle and shine, I'm like a crow to a shiny bobble. I'm gonna go in, I'm going in. So anyways, um, what is your thoughts as far as some of these Christmas collections? Are you overwhelmed or are you underwhelmed? And what is on your must have makeup list? I'm kind of dying to know inquiring minds want to know. So anyways, um, I look forward to seeing your comments below and I also want to th say thank you for stopping into my channel. It means so much to me when you stop in and it doubles my enthusiasm when you take time to write a comment because I really love responding to um, the YouTube family. So I just want to say thank you very much there. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, Come on now, consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time. Okay, so I totally forgot till I said goodbye that I didn't do the glitter flip test like some other people did. So I'm gonna zoom in. God help us all, right? Amy's trying to zoom in the real way, not, I don't like me zoomed in this far. This far. I don't know that it's really clear, so bear with me. Um, sorry, use your air. And now I feel like I gotta sit up higher. Okay, so there is a little bit of glitter and shine. Not a whole lot, but enough to make it just kind of pretty for daytime. It's been sitting on my lips for basically the whole bit of this video. So let's see what kind of glitter do we get. And did I say what color it was? This color is candy. All right, let's see how candy does. I <laughs> keep lifting my head up. You can see a little bit more sparkle, but nothing like, I'm gonna zoom back out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I see a little bit more sparkle as far as that glitter flip goes, but nothing that was like over the top amazing. Either I don't know how to match my lips together, or maybe I didn't put enough on. 
I don't know, it doesn't look over the top glittery. And maybe it's because I chose one, maybe some of the other ones have more glitter. But I'm really matching my teeth together. I'm even using the, my teeth on the inside. Yeah, okay. So if the rest of the formulas work on me like this, um, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the whole collection. So I think this is pretty. I like this color. It goes well with my eyes. My eyes. Oh, it goes so good with my eyes. <laughs> it kind of goes good with the colors I use today from Pure Cosmetics. But anyways, I don't know. It's just this probably isn't something that I would say I'd have to have again. Maybe the other colors work better, but um, I wouldn't rush out and spend your money on that one. And the color was candy. That's all I'm saying. I'm not rushing out. I'm not rushing out. Anyways, have a good one.